good morning. Happy Tuesday. Today is August 24th, 2021, and we are doing yard work this morning. So the goal is to trellis my roses and get rid of all of these weeds, which I will hand pick because I don't want to use chemicals. So that's the goal today. And then I need to mow the grass. Eventually, when we live on the farm, we will not have this like green grass yard. This is not what I want, but I live in an HOA, so we have to keep them happy. All right, I'm sitting at a red light, so don't come for me, but um, I'm gonna get my nails done because it's been quite a while since I ripped them off. So let's go do that. Here's the before. Oof. Ta-da! Beautiful. I'm sorry that this is the angle you're getting. <sighs> um, I started making my calendar for next month that I put on Twitter. <sighs> I don't even know how September's already here again. And I usually stream on Fridays, but his birthday is on a Friday. <sighs> I don't like missing streams. And so there's the guilt of my old habit of overworking myself and overextending myself that led to like this extreme burnout or just like inability to create anymore this is the first time in a long time i should say that i have really been hit with this grief like this it is so You combine this past, like, need to overachieve, to feel validated and seen with the grief of losing a baby. Like, what the fuck? How do I do that? I just messed up so much. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. I am about to sign on to my Twitch stream, but I wanted to say good morning to you, and I hope you're doing well. We'll catch up after the stream. Hi, I'm back. Stream is over. It is 11.58, and we made these on stream. So that was fun. These are blueberry muffins. I didn't have enough eggs to... Well... Okay, I did have enough eggs to make my banana muffins, banana bread, but I didn't realize that until the very end. Anyways, so we made blueberry muffins. They look incredible. Let me show you. Right? I want to thank everyone who took the time to join my Wednesday stream. It means so much to me. I know that I said this on stream, but I just want to reiterate that that you guys are incredible and your support means everything to me. So thank you. Hello, Taylor from the future here, here to show you our blueberry muffins again. I put them in this Tupperware container 
and the goal was to freeze them but guess what they didn't make it into the freezer and that's okay um i'm using this chiquita banana bread mix and i'm actually going to use the recipe on the side which is for the muffins and by use i mean i'm not disregard the whole thing i'm going to take these three bananas instead and just mix them with the um, mix inside and that's how we're making it i'm also going to add these are actually vegan mini chips semi-sweet I do make three of the banana muffins just with banana and then the rest I make with chocolate chips. All right, we just returned from our first Costco trip. And I wanted to show y'all what we got. Uh, we got a four pack of pepperoni pizza thin crust. We got a 72 count of homestyle Eggo waffles. My kids prefer the buttermilk, but these will do fine, they'll eat these. Uh, five pounds of mandarins. Oh my gosh, these are such great snacks. A thing of Parmigiano Reggiano cheese. How much is this? Mm, oh, I was like 1.36 pounds. That's a lot. The Hillshire Farm Natural Honey Roasted Ham. There are three individual packs in here, so you can freeze two of them, have one in the fridge. Perfect. This huge container, four pounds, of red seedless grapes. Two of the Nature Zone Honey Wheat. This isn't the bread we normally get, but we're completely out of bread, so I had to get some today. Uh, three things of ketchup a two pack of the peanut butter, which actually was a great deal right now, and will allow me to pre-make some of those sandwiches I wanted to make that I was talking about. This is my one vice that I really have, and it's sugar-free Red Bull. I have one every morning. So just a 24 pack of that. Some ground Saigon cinnamon. Delicious. This is my favorite tuna. It's the Wild Planet. And then this is a really good deal considering one can that I normally get is about $5. I heard about these Girl Scout Thin Mint Almonds. Huge container of macaroni and cheese. Goldfish. We can bring these for like class snacks too. They're already individually done. So that's good. I do not ever eat spam but it is very liked in my house so we got a bunch of that it's been out of stock for a while here a huge container of chips this is my child's favorite chip like these are my children's favorite so this was a good deal for us um, I like them already portioned that way that we can just throw them in their lunches and then paper products we got some paper plates and a huge thing of paper towels and that is our entire haul, the first one. So I didn't go into Costco with any particular list. Um, I did go in there with the knowledge that I was completely out of bread and completely out of ketchup, as in I was taking the individual ketchup packets that you get from fast food restaurants and squeezing them into like one of my reusable containers for um, my son today. <laughs> So I was like, okay, at the very least, I need to get bread and ketchup. And I really wanted to get that cinnamon. So I'm really glad that I did. But other than that, I did not have a list. So we will go to Costco again together with a list. And I think that will make a difference. <laughs> it was really fun though. I'm glad that I got to explore it just a little bit. So my goal next week is going to be to freezer prep um, meals for my family and have just like easily accessible things for the days that I don't wanna cook, don't feel like cooking, I'm not home, um, so other, someone else can cook. Those things I want to get in place so that my family has something that's healthy and home cooked. Um, I don't know about you, but I start to get like grossed out if I eat fast food too many times in a row. Like I just like crave home cooked meals. So I wanna get my freezer stocked with food and with dinners that are easy for my family to access 
and easy for me to just like throw in an instant pot or throw in a crock pot and make. I'd like to get 20 to 30 of those done. That's kind of a lot, but I think I can do it. I also want to start stocking up on like beans and rice and this like long-term food storage. I don't have anything like that currently and something is telling me I need to do it. So I'm going to do that. Um, I'm probably going to order that today and order the storage containers today. So I'll take you guys along with me. I'm looking over there and I have a spirit Halloween order that I can open. It's not a lot of fun stuff yet, but there are a few things I got in there. So I will show you guys that. I also want to talk to you about the um, clip from last night about me crying. I don't know if I'm going to include that. So if I don't, um, we just won't put this part in. But if I do, um, I'm in a much better headspace today. I think that grief sometimes, I, I remember hearing that grief is like the ocean. And sometimes we're just like wading in it. And then sometimes we are completely swept up and overwhelmed in it. And I think that's just where I was yesterday with my grief. Um, I think it hit me a little bit harder that his birthday is on a Friday. So I have to take that day off. Which, by the way, I don't know if it came across clearly last night. I do not feel guilty about taking his birthday off. I don't feel guilty about taking any of my children's birthdays off. I don't feel guilty taking my birthday off. There is no guilt anymore. What I was trying to say was that that is a part of me that struggles a lot with guilt. I don't like missing work. I don't like missing streams. It doesn't make me feel good. And I would berate myself and beat myself up so much for it before. And I'm really working hard to not do that anymore. Because I used to be someone who a lot of my pride was in my work. And my ability to show up no matter what was happening um, for example, when my mom was dying, that was a time that I would show up because I thought that's what I should be doing, but creating like that and living like that for so long, I mean, there was like, I think the first couple of years I didn't take any days off, um, that I had scheduled. And so living like that and working like that for years, I've been doing this for seven years now, led to the most insane burnout I didn't want to create anymore. I wasn't happy. I was exhausted. I had, like, my brain was just fried. It was like, what are we doing? Stop. And I think that my son's death really forced me to take time to myself and regroup and reevaluate how I was spending my time in my life. And I take the hard way for almost everything that I do. Um, I really take the most difficult route in all situations. And that's basically what I did to learn self-care and that's where I'm at now. I used to think self-care was like bubble baths and candles but I've really recognized how important it is to set boundaries. That's something I never ever had before was boundaries with the people that I love because I thought if I set boundaries then I was saying please get away from me and that's literally the opposite of what it does. Anyways I just wanted to pop in and say that really quickly. I don't feel guilt. Um I'm much better today. I miss him so much, but I'm always going to miss him. <laughs> so I just hug all my living children a little bit more today, but I just want to let you know that I'm fine.
God, please ignore my VR set just sitting there. This is the next corner that we're taking care of, but um, Spirit Halloween order, yay! <laughs> I'm not licensed professional, apparently. Okay, so I know what this is, but how do I get to it? Please. Ah. <laughs> Anyways. So Beetlejuice tombstone. I don't have any tombstones for our front yard or our backyard. I'm excited about this. I don't want to open it yet. But this is actually like really nice. So here's one thing we got. Speaking of Halloween, let me show you my new sweater. Iconic. Back slash. Okay, so I'll be wearing this for the remainder of this segment. I'm so sure. This is so unnecessary. Okay, great. Now to the stuff that we got. Let's go through it. So, I got a lot of table runners um, for the house, but also for my altar. So, Nightmare Before Christmas, Sun and Moon one, Sun and Moon one. Got a lot of those. Oh, here's another one. This one is blue. Cute. And it has the faces of the moon, obviously. All right, this one is in a huge thing of bubble wrap. What are you? Oh my God. Beetlejuice, candlesticks. These are cute. I almost didn't get these and I'm really glad that I ended up doing it. Those are cute. That means that this must be my other one. I got two of them. And I save um, all of my packing material or I let my kids use it, like sensory stuff. So don't worry about that. It's not going to waste. So we have a set of these. I love them. They're very cute. And then the last thing that we got is this wreath. Let me figure out how it goes. This looks like the top. Nope, this is the top. So it's a pentagram and it requires two AA batteries. So I will get those put in. And then besides that, I also ordered some things from Etsy. This is just one of the things I'll show you. Obviously the sweater is one of the things I got too. I really wanna decorate in like vintage Halloween, like 90s Halloween. So that's where we're going this year. But this is something that I got. Oh my God, first of all, it came with a little tiny spoon. Oh shit, I love you. Okay, and then, Wheel of the Year. Oh my God, this is like really nice. Cute, this is who I got it from. And they sell a whole set of essential oils. I just got an essential oil diffuser. Um, so this set is so cute. It has sandalwood, basil, lemon, peppermint, ginger, cedar, jasmine, sage, eucalyptus, and chamomile. I'm very excited about this. I recorded this once and um, I could feel how like tense I was about it. And sometimes I forget to relax my shoulders. 
and breathe. And that um, audible exhale really helps me just like ground myself and pull myself back into my body. Because something that I've noticed with my trauma is um, I have been living in flight or flight mode for decades. <laughs> and so it's really difficult to take your body and be like, hey, I know that we've been anxious and stressed and our shoulders are up here and we're really tight but it's okay to relax and we're in a safe place and we are loved and we are cherished. So I don't know about you, but sometimes I need a reminder. So maybe you're sitting there a little hunched up. Just let's just rest together. Um, I want to thank you for watching this week's vlog. I know it was a lot emotionally for me. Um, and I'm still kind of dealing with that actually. Like I'm still feeling sad. And that's okay to feel sad sometimes. So I'm very much looking forward to my therapy session tomorrow. I haven't had therapy consistently all month. And I think that that really has messed with my head a little bit. But I wanted to say thank you. I don't know how long this vlog is going to end up being. But I don't think it's very long. And um, that's okay. Some weeks will be longer than others. I want to say thank you so much for watching. I look forward to creating this content for you. And now that I'm consistently um, uploading, I'm looking into uploading ASMR on my Spotify and um, looking into maybe starting to get into some yoga for you guys. I'm really nervous about yoga because I'm not happy with my body at all. I'm, I know that's very obvious. Um, I'm not happy with my body right now but I'm trying to learn to love myself again. So maybe I just have to like rip the bandaid off and go into doing something like yoga with you guys. I don't know, we'll see. I have to get on stream now because it's Friday. I love you very much. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I hope you have an incredible week.